I'm joined now on the phone by one of the stars of that Wisconsin team, center Tyler Biotish. Tyler, let's start with your guys' great start. Uh, I mean, here's a team that was 8-5 and five a year ago. I think a lot of people are surprised by how well you've come out of the gate. How do you explain the way you guys have turned things around? Yeah, I think we just had a really great, uh, we had a really great offseason um, to start, um, and, and we had really great team connections throughout the, the whole offseason and, and translated into fall camp, and we're coming out really hot. I think, uh, I think we all have a really great togetherness of this football team and a really great grasp of what we want to do. The last three games, we've been really locked in, and um, we've been successful, and I think um, this week coming up is a big game against Northwestern, and um, we're all, that's all we're worried about. I want to get into that matchup with Northwestern in a moment, but but want to ask you about the offensive line in particular, because I think when people thought about, well, where might this team struggle this year and why might they not be able to improve that much on eight and five, offensive line was one of the areas. I mean, you guys lost 166 career starts off of last year. You're the lone returning starter. Why has this group been able not only to perform well, but to exceed the performance of a year ago, a group where you've got some guys in the NFL. Yeah, I think I think we had some great guys, uh, you know, leave. I think uh, we had three great stars that are going out NFL right now. Um, they're playing well, and uh, Deets unfortunately had to retire. But I think, you know, I thought I think we have a lot of talent that came up this year, and we're making the most out of it. I think we have some different game plans than um, some other teams that we had, and I think we've just been so locked into the details and the focus of just getting better each week and whatever it is we've been working on. And I think that togetherness, like I said before, is a really big key this year for us. One interesting personnel switch on that offense is, of course, at the quarterback spot with Jack Cohn taking over. Why do you think Jack has been so successful? I think he prepares super well. I, I think he's one of the most prepared guys on our team. Um, he's always going through the playbook. Um, he's always asking questions, making sure he's on in practice and in meetings and even off the field. Um, I've seen it like firsthand. I thought I was like the last one leaving the stadium one day in fall camp, and all of a sudden I see Jack, you know, studying his playbook and everything. So, you know, it's, it's really good to see, and um, I'm really proud of him. I'm super proud of him. He's, he's done a great job of commanding the offense, and, um, you know, he's just, he's just at the tip of the iceberg right now. He's just, he, he, has, he has no limits right now, and I, and I love it. And he's going out there with, like, really great passion. Um, you saw last weekend he, he's, he's a great competitor, and we love him. Well, speaking of guys who have been impressive this year, Jonathan Taylor just picking up right where he left off and, in fact, in some ways exceeding what he did a year ago when he won the Doak Walker Award as the nation's best running back. When you watch Jonathan Taylor, what amazes you the most about him? His vision. He has great vision. You know, that's the thing where – in practice, he's always he's taking he's taking a lot of reps too in practice, and he's just he's getting that vision down where where a hole might open up here or here, and in games he just hits it a million miles an hour, and I, I can't express enough like he is he's a freak, and you know he's a, he's our Badger man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about you, Tyler. You're from Amherst, Wisconsin, tiny town, thousand people, about seventy five miles west. Of Green Bay, I know you did not technically grow up on a farm, but that your family, you're of a family of farmers. Your grandfather's a farm. Your dad and your uncle both worked on it. What should people know about farming life that they don't? Um, it's a lot more. It's a lot of more physical labor than you would think. Um, it's a it's a job where you wake up at six and you don't get back till ten. Um, my dad, he 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 worked on my grandpa's farm, and you know that's a that's a lot of hard work. And my uncle and my grandfather still. Um, work on the farm right now and you really appreciate what they go through to just put you know food on the table or paying the bills and everything like that they get more than they, they deserve i want to ask you a little bit about the opponent this week in northwestern you were talking about them they've done a really good job first of all against the badgers they've won three of the last five but then specifically against jonathan taylor i mean he's had five games in his career where he hasn't rushed for 100 yards two of them have been against northwestern what is it about their defensive scheme that's been challenging you know, I think I think they just play better in those some of those games, and I don't think we helped ourselves um, last year. We we turned the ball over too much. We just weren't in position to you know score, and you got to score. That's how you win. You know, we this year I think we just got to play better. I think um, outrightfully so. We got to we got to be able to rush um, the ball. Um, we got to be able to move guys off the line of scrimmage, and um, you know that's what you got to do to win all the time. So I think uh, as long as we have great communication, trust each other in the pre-step, seeing what their defense is giving us and just attacking it and not 
not thinking about this or that and just playing football, I think uh, we can really get after them. How big a motivator is that, that you maybe haven't had the same success against them and, and that you know they won the West last year and beat you guys? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a big motivator, I think, um, for a lot of our team. Uh, you know, it, it was uh, pretty disappointing, um, you know, watching that game last year, the Big Ten Championship game, and, you, and you're not there. So I think, um, you know, especially a Big Ten opponent and coming from the West side, especially, uh, this, is a, this is a big game for us, and um, I'm excited. I'm ready for us to cut loose. Tyler, before I let you go, as one with a somewhat unusual last name, I have to ask you, B-I-A-D-A-S-Z, what is the yeah. oddest pronunciation you have ever gotten of your last name? Uh, my substitute teacher in, uh, I think it was in middle school, I got Tyler Badass. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's apropos, I would say, when you really think yeah. about it, right? I didn't. I was just like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> oh well, Tyler, really appreciate the time. Thanks a lot for uh, taking a few minutes to chat with us, and best of luck this weekend. Yeah, no problem, Dave. Have a good day. You too.